April fans, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're just going to be playing some nine ball. I'm going to be telling you guys my thought process after the break. We're not focusing on the break. I'm just going to whack the balls and wherever they land, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking, what shots I believe you should be looking for, playing for, clusters and all that. It's nine ball. Using the template, one ball on the spot, easiest break in the world, easiest break in nine ball pool, wing ball should fly in. If it doesn't, that's because I've wrapped them up bad, but I don't care about that. This is all about seeing where the balls land and having a little bit of a chat. I've got the flip flops on, so if you see any leg flicking or crazy cue actions, that's because I'm imitating the Filipino players around the world. Not a bad break, lost the cue ball a little bit. And straight away we've got a push, so let's have a chat about the push here. Quite a tricky push out really. Let's get rid of this thing. Tricky because if I push around here, I'm leaving a pot. If I push to this rail, I'm leaving a pot. At pro level, the professionals will be taking that pot on, so it's a little bit scary. Jump shot, is anyone thinking about a jump shot straight off the bat? It's not for me. You've got to ask yourself how many times do you fancy potting this one ball? If the one ball was there, we play the jump shot, yeah? It's about there. So, how many times are you going to pot that? Me, probably one in ten, so not for me. Could push, well, no, I was thinking, can you get the cue ball here? But again, that's a pot. So, it's a funny one. Can we roll the cue ball up here? If we do, we're going to leave a very easy save cue ball off three rails behind the purple five. So, there's a few little problems. Now, the push out, if you're just tuning in to my channel and one of my pool videos, after the break at nine ball, you can roll the cue ball any way you want. So, let me just get the chalk, just as a marker, put it there. So I can roll the cue ball there, for instance, with my cue. And then my opponent is going to come to the table, play the shot or pass it back, okay? So you don't want to be rolling to there, do you? I don't want to roll the cue ball there, because then you leave an easy shot. But at the same time, I don't want to roll it there, because I'm in a world of trouble. So that's just a quick explanation on the push. All the balls are in the open. Is there a way of tying something up? Can I roll? No, it's not easy, not easy. Could maybe push the cue ball here. Reason being is, even though you can pot the ball, it's a long pot. Cue ball's running to the edge of the three, so you're not guaranteed position. Maybe that's an option. I don't think that's the worst of options, to be honest. Let's just see. So we roll it down there. Yeah. I'll walk around so I don't walk in front of the camera. Maybe I'm still in front of the camera. Yeah, so if you go for the pot, yeah, that's not easy at all. Now bear in mind, my pockets in my game room are still generous. I didn't have them shimmed up because I don't compete. Now on tour, you're playing with four inches, so it's probably this big. These are probably five and three quarters. Is that right? Five, four and three quarters? Whatever it is anyway. Yeah, so you go for the pot, you miss it, you sell out. You can't guarantee where the cue ball's going. I think the only option here is a safety shot. You've got two options. Well, you've got three options. You can go for the pot, low percentage. You could bank the one off here to here and try and miss the three and get the cue ball here. That's not easy because it's all about pace. Can you bank the one up here and use the three ball? So what I mean is you're banking the one off the top rail down here and using the three. Or can you even get it off there and down through this gap? Let's have a look at that. Is the scratch on? No, 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 I think the scratch is on there. Let's just have a look at the second option. Just play a little containing shot. Did I get there? Just left the top side of this. However, it doesn't pop because of the four. So it weren't a bad option, was it? You're still at the table. 
your opponent's got some kind of weird shot, maybe like trying to bank it past the nine. Good shot. You get the gist. Let's rack them. Rack two. I don't know how many racks I'm going to play. I'm going to try and talk a little bit slower this time. Be a bit more detailed. Maybe I ran through it a little bit quick there. Let me know in the comments if you uh, understood that first rack. Good break. Nice break indeed. See, when you're using the magic rack, the break is easy. And often, you get good splits. What do I mean by that? I mean, all the balls are in the open, yeah? Lost the cue ball a bit, or did it get kicked? I can't remember. This is tricky, though. Very, very tricky. Camera might think you can just pop this and hold the three, but I can't. That is quite thin. Cue ball is coming off about here. Natural angles run into these two balls, yeah? So that's no good. Can we sneak it past the nine? We can't because of the eight, so we're in a bit of bother here. Looks like we can attack, but I don't think we can. I think it's more defense. Can't even check it and hold. No, can't attack that ball. No way near. Could get fancy, could we go off here? No, the eight's just been a bit weird. I was thinking, could we go through this gap off the bottom to here, but no chance. Um, let's have a quick look. Is that an easy one? Cue ball there, behind the nine, is that on? Get a good, just get a good safe one ball. You always want to try and get a good safe one. Now, obviously, I've just come in and I'm, I'm playing, so I'll, I'll, you've heard me say this before on videos. I don't feel warmed up, you know, Joshua Filler, who's having a great season. If you've been watching Nine Ball this year, this is a hanger for him. It's not a hanger for me and you guys, though, is it? No. So we've got to try and find that right line. A bit of spin. Yeah. Missed the nine. Pace weren't great, but you could see where I was going with it. I got a good one. Maybe I could have hit it a bit fuller and got the one here. This shot now. I'm not even going to attempt it. This is the old classic snip and run. You play off this edge, one ball off here, down here, cue ball, through the gap, behind the eight. Let's break again. This is the third rack. This video is all about my brain, my thoughts, exactly what I'm thinking when I'm looking at the table. If I break and I get a shot on the ball, I'm going to try and run the balls out and play a rack. Obviously, that doesn't... Hasn't happened just yet. Good break though. You can see how easy this is. Don't you go in. Um, you can see how easy this is. The break with the magic rack. With the one on the spot. It's not so much the magic rack. Yeah, all the balls are touching. But it's because the one is on the spot. European Open. The first ever European Open matchroom pool event is less than a couple of weeks away from when this video goes out. One ball on the spot. It's moving to the nine with a break box. That's gonna make things a whole lot different. Video will be coming soon in about two weeks as that event gets underway. Right, no shot again. Do I play the bank? Could play the bank. It's an easy safety though. That's a dead ball. Not really a dead ball because of where the eight is, but initially when you're glancing, this looks like a problem area. But now we've assessed it, we feel that is an easy combination, so that's okay. How attacking are you feeling? What is the score in the match? How do you feel? Are you having a bad season or a good season? Bank it, spin the cue ball round, try and get on the two, or... Run the cue ball down there. Get a good one. It's dead. Why chase the table? Let's just play. Simple pool. We've got two big balls to land behind there. Usually you find the gap, and we found the gap. But at least it's safe-ish. Pay attention to the red three ball. This ball. One's on the spot. Magic rack. See, it goes straight in the pocket. 
This is why that brake rule is changing. The very next rack I play, after we've talked about this one, I'm going to have a go at the new European Open brake, just so you can see the difference. I think we're three or four racks in on this video, and the wing ball has flew in every single time. That is not good. The reason it's not good is because anyone can do that. Your mum could do that. Your gran, your dog, anyone. So we want to make it a bit tougher. So, just the way the game's gone here, we've not had any open shots. So, are you guys thinking pop the two in there? But where's the cue ball going? It's just running into balls here. It'd be very risky to dig down, try and pot it. Half ball off the seven, so the cue ball comes back out. Don't really look good, does it? Hmm. Tricky, 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 tricky. Mm -hmm. No, we're not smashing the two onto nine. If anyone's thinking that, please turn over and watch a fishing channel. The other thing to think about as well is when you're not playing a lot and you're not competing, it's hard to see the exact correct shot. Sure, if Joshua Phil is tuning into my video, he's thinking, what are you doing? Just pop the ball, run round and get on the floor. Well, no, Josh, that shot's not on. So I won't do that. Could bank it up table, but the ball... Yeah, I was thinking, can you bank the two up table, get the two ball here, distance, but because the cue ball is running into them two balls, I don't fancy it. If them two balls wasn't there, I'd play that shot because the cue ball would run off this rail in behind the nine. Yeah. I'd like to roll the two off this rail and land it there. I've come round here, the nine, the seven and the five is quite a big target. So as long as I get the two from this diamond to this diamond, big target that actually, from here to here and get the white around here, let me just have a look. Yeah, get the white around this bottom end of the table, should get the hook. I might completely butcher this, but you can see where I'm going with it. This is all feel, timing, pace. There we go. There we go, Carlito, yeah? We said from here to this diamond. That is a perfect example of what we're looking for. Come round, I knew I could get the cue ball in this area. I found the wall of balls from this point to this point, and we got the hook. Remember the previous rack where we was looking at the red three ball one ball on the spot. The spot is level with these two diamonds in the middle. Now you can see I've moved it higher. We, we run a line through the middle of these two diamonds and now the nine is on the spot. That is gonna make life a little bit more difficult. Also, what is gonna make it difficult at the European Open, you're not allowed to break from the rail. There's now gonna be a break box. How big is the break box? Nine ball through to this diamond. Roughly, let's just put that there. Nine ball on the spot through to this diamond, another mark there. That, them two pieces of chalk is how big the break box is going to be at the European Open. This was voted in by probably 90-95% of the pool players. This is what they want. So let's have a go. I'll just put it here. Move the chalk. Now, watch that red three. Every time from here, you've seen the wing ball go in. The wing ball is the red three. Where does it go now? Doesn't go in the pocket, does it? Goes nowhere near the, well, it did go near the pocket. That's because my pockets are huge, huge, huge. Okay, let's have a look. They've actually split really nice. That is not gonna be the case, but I did pot the red three. So usually the wing ball goes in. On a four inch pocket, it's gonna hit probably here, maybe a bit higher. Mine just caught the jaw because these are ginormous. Okay. Now, you've probably noticed I've been talking very quick. That is because that is how my brain is working. It's all over the table. My eyes are everywhere. Seeing, like now I've already recognised this is not a bad table layout. Purely and simply because all the balls are open. Nothing's blocking each other. The two goes past the six. The green six, I've already spotted that. The pink four and the purple five are on the left side of the table. So that's nice. So this is just all a case of connecting the dots. Let's see if I can run the table out. I just don't fancy it though. I don't know why. 
middle of the table, a bit of a stretch to come down. That's going to be okay. Ish. Now, this is a hanger for everyone that plays. This is not a hanger for me. Putting the ball, yes, but it's a feel thing. I'd need to play for a couple of hours to guarantee drawing the cue ball back here. Today, I might underdo it, but because it's in my brain, I might overdo it. So let's just see. Oh my word. That's why I'm a trick shot player. I cued that two ball so bad, it's not even funny. That's because there's a bit of self-doubt in the brain, talking myself off the shot. It's all about confidence. Everything in life you do is about confidence. Pool is no different. That was a shocker. Again, I'm going to have a go at this new European open break, break box. Watch the three ball, where it goes. There you see, forget the scratch. I'm going to put it where I want. That did hit about there. So we'll take ball in hand. We've got to run out before this video finishes, surely. That would be uh, a little bit embarrassing. Two ball passes the purple five. Doesn't It does go in the side, but you would never play it in the side because we're playing on buckets, aren't we? So why would I go in the side? I can't miss down there. Right, would you put the cue ball in and draw back? Would you put the cue ball there? I think probably just put it there. Right. Four onto the green six is fine. This is just playing it with a bit of spin. Back out, leave an angle. Oh, in fact, no, forget that. I've spotted something. I'm going to put it here. Let me know in the comments why I have put this ball here. I'll give you about 20 seconds to write it in so you don't cheat. If I have left the cue ball here after I've potted this one... Initially, I was going to pot the two and slide over. But if you can imagine the cue ball here, that gets a little bit weird. You might, how many times have you played this shot? Everyone's done this. Potted the ball, cue ball stayed here, and the pink four's landed down. You've no shot. We've all done it, me included. So now what I'm going to do is, because I'm stood over here and I've spotted a little gap in between the seven and the eight, I'm just going to stop the cue ball there. Let me show you. Let me just get the cue ball over here first. So I'm now putting the cue ball here. Nice little angle. No messing. Okay. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. After I pop the green six, the cue ball is going to come naturally over this side of the table. So we never have to worry about that weird little four ball landing here this is just play thin off it and get back over anywhere even where the cue ball is now does the seven past the eight probably does on my table we'll see where we land on this this is a bit of a thin one though a little bounce would be nice oh this is lovely this is lovely because now I can just pull the cue ball back Still got to cue these shots well, though. You can't just walk in and wing these. I feel like I've no chance, I won't lie. Well, at least I potted it. Didn't quite get the cue ball where I wanted, I won't lie. Possibly since this in with right spin. That's check side and come out. But well, that is a scary shot, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pot it. And I'm just going to come round the angles. This is all feel as well. Oh my life, I am having an absolute mare. An absolute mare, Carl. This is the last rack I'm going to play today. This is turning out to be a shambles. However, it's not about me running the table. It's about how I'm thinking. That's why I'm doing it pretty fast, because that's how fast my brain works after the break. It's scanning all over the table. So, oh, we're going with a new break, aren't we? Level with there. Right, three ball. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, it's going nowhere. You can see just off them three breaks how difficult the break has now become. I think because 
I've been so bad, I've got to just run the table now, haven't I? I know this video weren't really a case of that. I've done a few videos so far where we're breaking and running and all that, but I think it's because I've missed two dollies. I've got to, I've got to finish the video with a break and run. Cue ball down the centre of the table. Anywhere down the centre. This is nice. Now I can manipulate. I don't need to move that. One day's a long one. Now I can manipulate a bit of an angle. Let's get rid of this chalk. That's a funny shout this though, because now I've got to pull over. I can only leave an angle here, which is quite steep. Can't really get the cue ball over here. That is far too dangerous. So you would never do that. So if I get the cue ball here, I've got to pop this three and come over through this gap and back the eight, the five, the nine. It's all a little bit funny. This could be tricky, this big shot coming up on the three. And this is the shot now. Probably should move that temple up, but I won't. So I've got to miss the nine. Can't put too much spin on it because of the six. Do I just leave the cue ball here? That would be sensible. Don't try and come and get close. The five is going to be your bad ball in this shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and just... I was never very good at this shot, actually. Albin Ocean's one of the best at this shot. Getting the ball straight. Coming over straight. How many players watching this video have hit the six and the nine with the cue ball? Very, very easy done. So now I'm going to play for this area. That'll do. Good shot, Carl. I'm happy with that. Maybe we should stop the video there. Now, because I found that nice line, I didn't do anything risky. I'm going to pop the pink four and get the cue ball over here for the former orange five. Now purple. Killed that in nicely with a bit of right. Bit of a draggy type right shot that. Now, this is a good shot. Pop this and just come over to this rail. Don't start dicing with this side pocket. Make sure you get enough spin on the cue ball. Yeah, you see where the cue ball's going now? Made sure I didn't flirt with the side. Even if, if even if start again, blah 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 blah. Even if the cue ball come up here, I ain't gonna scratch. That is the worst thing you could do. Get rid of that middle pocket. Now I'm just gonna draw back out. I'll just pull it out anywhere really. Don't overthink this kind of stuff. Just make sure you pop the six. Like so. Are we finally gonna run out? Can we end the video? Eight ball goes in the side or it goes long. I think I'm just gonna pump it in, come off the one. Yeah, choice of two pockets. So this is like a stun run through. Yeah, that's nice. Straight in the corner. I'll play for the nine in the same pocket, just stun over. And that's nicely done at last, but we're warming up. That's what it's all about. And a simple nine. For your first break and run. That is a little insight into the brain of Carl Boys. That is what I'm thinking. After the break shot, my eyes are scanning all over the table, seeing if there's any problems, clusters, seeing where the balls are to play on my next numbered ball. It was a very, very fast paced video. Turned out a little bit funny in the end as well because I kept dogging it but I finally broke and ran the table in this video. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, smash the like, smash the subscribe. Let's get up to 20,000 subscribers. It's getting a little bit slow. I've been off the pace a little bit, but I am back.